Hello everybody and uh, welcome to today's CM22 uh, launch webinar. A little bit different than, uh, than what we're used to. Uh, most of the time when we have a, a launch of a new product, we are allowed to be in one studio uh, space uh, together. And Martijn, my colleague, is now actually in our studio, which is located in our office. Martijn, uh, uh, yeah, good that you can join. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's my pleasure. I mean, it's, I'm just working at the office, so I've got the nice environment. You're sitting somewhere else, unfortunately. That's uh, part of doing business these days. Well, I managed to get a nice backdrop, I guess. So it's, it's a little uh, better than the last webinar when people were, were kind of watching my driveway, which is which is, this is a little bit better. So uh, it's actually uh, quite a famous street in uh, in Delft, uh, one of the one of the most famous streets. There's not many tourists right now, but uh, hopefully in the near future you can uh, you can come over to the Netherlands and enjoy this again. So, uh, Martijn, I'm glad that you're joining, and we're going to be uh, talking a little bit in detail about uh, CM22. Yes, let's uh, dive right in. Uh there we go. Okay. Um, so again, welcome to uh, to the webinar today. Um, just before we get started, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, we're using the Demio platform today, uh, which is uh, the the webinar platform that you're logged into. Uh, there's a Q and A window on the right of your screen. Feel free to use this uh, to say hello, to let us know where you're from, uh, or to uh, to ask us any questions. Uh, of course, we uh, we have some colleagues on the chat window or on the chat right now. That, uh, that can answer your questions. So oh, feel free to put them in. Yeah. Um, then um, we're going to be talking about the launch of our new CM22, right? A new uh, product in the port product portfolio of Avonic. Very excited about it. And uh, uh, so a couple of topics on today's agenda. Of course, we're going to be talking a little bit about Avonic. We're going to do a little bit of a refresher on our product portfolio. So how does the CM22 actually fit uh, with all our other products? And then we're going to take a uh, closer look at the CM22 in detail. Uh, we're going to look at its features. And then we're also going to be doing a little bit of a live demo, which mostly focuses on the unboxing of the product and how you can uh, install the product. And that's where Martijn comes in. Um, he was uh, unfortunate to draw the shorter straw today. So he's going to be doing the heavy lifting. And yes. I'm going to be sitting here in my comfortable room here. Um, and then we're also going to be looking at uh, applications. So which kind of applications can you use the CM22 for? And, uh, and then we'll summarize in some takeaway points. So first of all, if you're not familiar about Avonic, um, uh, we are a manufacturer of PTZ cameras and fixed cameras and accessories for fixed installations. The company was founded about 13 years ago and our background is in AV distribution. We're in control of uh, product design, manufacturing, warehousing, sales and support, everything done from the Netherlands uh, and ships from the Netherlands. And we really focus on pro AV installations. So uh, this is quite unique for a company to, to remain focused on the uh, on the, the real the installation, the integration world. Many company fo companies focus on a lot of different uh, market verticals. We really uh, are loyal to our core market, which is the integration market. Currently, we have uh, distribution in over 30 countries on every continent. So there's certainly a, a reseller or Avonic partner close to you. Um, if we look about just general applications that we at Avonic uh, supply our solutions to, these are the key six uh, markets. Uh, of course, the broadcast industry, especially because it's moving more and more to online production, and that production world is an ideal uh, world for Avonic cameras to be used. Uh, because of the current situation in the world, of course, education is on everybody's radar, but it's been on our radar for a long time, and we've been supplying solutions to higher education and universities for a long time cameras being used for lecture capture and, and, and those kind of applications. Uh, conferencing, so large conferencing systems where there's delegate systems from Bosch or Tel Aviv, Corsure, uh, all those, those brands with automatic camera registration. Uh, video conferencing, of course, the market that we're gonna be talking to uh, talking about today. Webcasting, which is closing, closely uh, related to the broadcast market nowadays and the uh, house of worship. And I think I've mentioned this a couple of times. I think the first ever Avonic camera probably went into a church, um, uh, if I was informed correctly. So I these are the key uh, markets. Yeah, that, that's that's one of the first ones, right, today? Yeah, I guess so, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, um, so um, just as a quick refresher on our product lineup, this is not the entire lineup. I've, I've left the accessories and some other uh, things uh, out of this, but just for an overview on the cameras, right? So. Our current product line is the CM20, CM40, and the CM70 series. 
The CM20 series is the camera that we're going to be talking about today, the CM22, so a small huddle room uh, focused camera. Above that, we have our uh, uh, CM40 series, which is more for the installations where you want to have uh, uh, control over RS-232, 485, or IP, um, both in a uh, five times uh, optical zoom USB only and a 20 times uh, optical zoom uh, USB, SDI, and HDMI. So the more budget-friendly uh, camera line. And above that is the CM70 series. In the CM70 series, basically, you've got all the features that we have, um, including uh, things like SRT, uh, HDMI, SDI, IP streaming, PoE, uh, IP control, uh, uh, low latency IP streaming, as I mentioned, Tolly light, balanced audio embedding, the whole a feature set you really need for demanding products. The CM71 is when you look at the bigger meeting rooms with its 12 time zoom range, lens is the other solution that is often used for video conferencing. Don't forget, all these products basically have a USB 2.0 output, so you are uh, absolutely free to use them for video conferencing, but these are the three that, that are used the most in the uh, projects that we see. Um, so that's the product overview. Um, and then I look at the CM22. So this is the subject of today's webinar. Uh, this has been a long process, uh, Martijn, uh, so far. Yes, we've had some challenges, COVID-19 to be included in that. <laughs> um, yeah. So yes, we, we've been delayed for uh, quite some time, but we're happy to be able to launch it, so. Yeah, and still the, 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 the delay that we encountered wasn't too bad, but yeah, we've been infected, uh, not been infected, affected by <laughs> by some of the things that everybody's experienced in today's market. So this is the CM22. As you can see, um, uh, a, new, a brand new uh, camera uh, with a discrete design, uh, really focused on huddle rooms, desktop use, and a number of other applications we're going to be talking about. And it comes with three years of warranty. So um, three years out of the box warranty. And talking about, speaking about out of the box, we're going to be looking at the actual unboxing uh, in a couple of minutes when Martijn uh, gives us a quick tour there. So the CM22 in detail, if you, if you have watched uh, uh, two weeks ago the webinar we did, uh, then you know where these pictures on the right were coming from. I'm going to be talking about that in a few minutes. So uh, just to summarize, so a wide angle uh, uh, camera, so 120 degree wide angle camera. So what does that mean? Like on a one meter distance, it already uh, allows for a three and a half meter wide image. So this means that you can sit very, very close to the screen while still making sure all the attendees are actually in the picture. So uh, this is the reason why you want to have a wide angle uh, camera for hollow rooms. Um, it has a bunch of smart automatic modes for white balance and color settings and those kind of things, but also gives you the opportunity to manually uh, basically set all these parameters. And this is important, not in an average situation, right? So in a situation where I'm in with conditioned lighting, a background, no backlight, all these type of things. It's not really important that, that you have these features, but it becomes very challenging when you look into a situation, for instance, in my home office, where I actually, I, I, I turn my desk around because I like having the light on my desk, but I do have a window with no blinds behind me. And this is the difference between a, I would say a small size webcam and the CM22. You can clearly see the one on the right, which I think is Scrooge McDuck in English. We call him Dagobert, but um, uh, I think it's Scrooge McDuck in English. Um, you can see the detail, right? The camera is in the same uh, position, and you can clearly see on the top, there's, there's very little detail. The white is kind of blending into the white of the background. There is, there is not much detail. Um, and it's not a very good picture to watch. It's actually very tiring when you watch that. Um, and the, the one on the uh, bottom is the one with the CM22, where you can uh, basically use all these automatic modes, because this example is made with automatic modes, so nothing was manually configured. Um, and you can clearly see the difference in Scrooge's face, basically. You can very clearly see the difference. So, uh, challenging light conditions is light from the back, a lot of light in the room, maybe people walking around. Uh, you want to be able to control your cameras in these situations. and. Um, especially on today's um, uh, corporate world, there's more and more fishbowl type uh, meeting rooms, which basically means a lot of glass and transparency. But transparency, by definition, is not very good for cameras. So you do need to uh, make sure that you handle that with a camera, camera that can actually uh, uh, fit that application well. 
Uh, we have a digital zoom, which is actually controllable. Uh, so you can you can configure the amount of zoom you allow the, the customer to have. Uh, because it's a 4K camera, you can zoom in twice before you come to full 1080p. So basically, you can zoom in twice without losing any picture quality. Uh, it has digital uh, pan and tilt. So basically, you can still move it around just like a pan, a tilt and zoom camera. Um, and it has up to nine presets, including a home preset, which you can configure that when it powers up, it, it actually starts up with that preset. Uh, 4K30 on the HDMI output uh, and um, uh, uh, for uh, connecting to a matrix switcher, maybe, maybe a legacy codec or even confidence viewing. We've seen uh, teachers actually connecting that uh, to a screen which is on site so they can actually see their own recording when they're when they're doing that, uh, other than just on the monitor. Um, it has independent USB 3.0 um, uh, output, so it's independent from the HDMI output, and it's backwards compatible. Uh, and Martijn, if I'm correct, the backwards compatibility means that it will also work on USB 2.0? Yeah, that's correct. It will work on USB 2.0, but then will be limited to 1080p 30 on the output resolution. So uh, simply because you don't have as much bandwidth as on USB 3.0. Yeah. And um, are you aware currently at any video conference platforms that, that accept higher than 1080p 30 resolutions? Well, to be honest, most of them even scale down to 720p. So uh, as far as I know, mainstream video conferencing is still done uh, in full HD at max. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a completely different discussion. Uh, I guess it will be interesting if you can uh, put in the chat window how uh, how much of your applications you believe are really really 1080p 30 or maybe even 4K. Uh, would definitely be interesting for us to know. Um, the camera also has a built-in microphone, dual microphone with a pickup range of uh, four meters, uh, including also the uh, the necessary uh, algorithms to uh, to filter out background noise. Uh, and like I said, it's compatible on USB 2.0, which means that it is compatible with our UEX 150, which is then limited to 1080p 30. Um, so uh, just remember that when you uh, need to connect uh, uh, longer cable links. Um, then a little bit of a closer look before, this is just all PowerPoint slides, but I promise you we're gonna be looking at the actual product in just a minute. Um, remember that uh, the product is compatible with UVC standards. There's different different uh, UVC standards out there. We support all of them right now. And that means that we're automatically compatible with Zoom, Hangouts, Meets, Microsoft Teams, BlueJeans, GoToMeetings, you name it. All these platforms that accept a standard USB uh, camera uh, would also work in combination with the CM22. Um, nice thing is also, and this has been verified, the camera control in Zoom works perfectly fine with this camera. And the, one of the main things to take away from the CM22, and this relates to the focus that we have at Avonic, which is the integration market, is we have went to great length actually designing a mount which uh, works with almost every screen that we can find and also yes. fixes a bunch of problems that you have with small cameras just sitting on top of the screen. So one thing that we quickly realize is that hey, there's this bunch of thin bezel screens out there. So the, the, the bezels, the edge of the screen is getting uh, smaller and smaller. So if you have a camera that actually slides over like this and has a, uh, a part where it actually is uh, stuck to the monitor to keep it, keep it from falling down, it should not go further than the actual edge of the monitor because, because in some cases you would just lose a tab uh, of your internet browser, uh, which is just gone. Um, which is very uh, annoying, to be honest. And also, it needs to be wall mountable. So just uh, putting it on top of the screen still allows people to just take it away or maybe move it to another room or let's just assume that they have good faith, uh, that they're, they're, they're handling in good faith, so they take it to another room. But you can also imagine somebody, somebody will be able to put it in his uh, suitcase or in his bag and just take it away. Uh, with this new CM22 mount, you can bolt it to the wall or to the actual mount of the screen. So. Uh, also for that, uh, it provides a solution. And the other uh, thing, and we're going to be talking about that a little bit more detail, is the fact that a lot of the similar products to the CM22 can all can, can only be installed above the screen. Uh, and you're already seeing is where I'm sitting, the, the, the camera is already a little bit too high or too low compared to the screen. Uh, and it makes a lot of difference for the line of sight and the actual, uh, the way you present yourself to the other side. And so we're going to be looking about uh, looking looking a little bit in detail uh, to that as well. So basically, 
install it either above or below a screen uh, was absolutely a mandatory feature uh, for the new CM22. Um, and I think um, to, to kind of prove that, so, so what does that actually mean if you can install it above or below a screen? This is a very average setup, right? Of course, we've got these dual screen setups with the camera in the middle, I understand that. But this is like a single screen setup, which is, which is a, a vast majority of meeting rooms. What people would be looking for is to put the screen on the actual ideal uh, line of sight, which has happened in this uh, meeting room, which is, uh, of course, a rendering. Um, but you can clearly see that the, uh, the actual camera is coming in at an angle, so it's going like this. And I've mentioned this a number of times before, right? It's not like the ideal scenario because you're not really looking into somebody's eyes uh, and people like me with not like a, a vast amount of hair, I would say, just don't really like being confronted with that all the time. So what you try to do is to place the camera on an ideal height. And in this case, uh, it's not really on top of the screen, it will be below the screen. So in the next slide, you can see um, that we've slightly raised the screen. The line of sight for the screen is still okay, while the camera line of sight is much better than before. So um, this is one of the benefits the CM22 brings, right? You can easily mount it either on top or below the screen uh, and really looking at that ideal line of sight, right? Where meeting rooms before were just about people need to be able to see the presentation. These meeting rooms are now vital for your, inter for the, your customer's internal communication or their external communication. So the line of sight uh, really gives a, a more uh, better way to actually present yourself and people see you more like you would be sitting in the same room. Um, so this is definitely a huge benefit of the CM22 with this new integration mount. Um, and then um, I guess, Matai, I've, I've, I've been showing like the, the PowerPoint slides, right? And I know people, well, they like PowerPoint slides, but they like seeing the product in real life. Yes. So uh, it's like still virtual, that's true, but you have a nice box. Yeah, right. definitely. And so far you've done most of the talking, so it's good to be on the talking side of this uh, presentation for once. Um, yeah, I've got the, the box right here. This is what you'll receive when you, uh, when you buy one. And I'll show you the unboxing from above. So let me just put it in front of me. Make sure you can see it. There we go. So as you can see, well, this box has had a tough life already. We'll make sure that the ones you receive will be nice, neat and uh, new, of course. So um, yeah, let's just open up the box and see what's inside. So the most important part, uh, can't stress it enough, is our little quick guide, which you'll find uh, right on top of basically every camera you buy from us. This will give you all the basic information which you will need to uh, install and uh, operate the camera for the first, uh, first time. So use this as a, a quick reference. And if you need more information, you can always download the manual on our, on our website. So below this protective foam, you'll find the box and its uh, contents. Um, so it's a fairly black camera, so it's hard to see much detail, but yeah, we've designed it to blend in with the screen on the wall anyway. So that's, that's been a, a design choice. Um, but what you find here is, of course, the camera in the middle. And we have four little different power plugs. So in case you only need to use the uh, HDMI output uh, of the CM22, you can still use these power plugs to power the, uh, the camera over USB. So this is a USB power plug right there. We have uh, EU, UK, US and Australian plugs included with, uh, with the camera. Um, so let's, let's take out the camera. There we go. As you can see, this is it. I'll show you in a little bit more detail in a minute. You can look at it from above for now. So also included is a USB 3.0 cable, um, just to make sure that you have the proper cable. And of course the IR remote is included as well. That's basically all that you need to set up this camera. So let's put the box to the side. And let's focus on the camera itself. So let's make sure you can properly see it, get some more light on there. Um, so what's also included in the camera is this uh, nice little lens cap. So you can uh, 
put it on there if you want to, if you want to have full control over privacy and, and want to make sure that you're not being filmed when you don't want to, you can just use this lens cap, which is provided with the camera. Um, as you can see here, two microphones. Well, it's hard to see probably on the on the live stream. Let's see if I, I can show well, it we to can, you. We can, we, can, we can see it now. I think it's... Uh, Great. Yeah. So that's the two microphones that right there, a very small logo uh, from Avonic, which we've uh, deliberately kept small so the camera really blends in with your, uh, with your screen and doesn't draw too much attention because most people really don't like to be filmed. Uh, Stephen and I, we've got used to it. <laughs> we have cameras <laughs> pointing at us all day, but we can imagine that for most people still, Zoom calls and all might still be a little bit uncomfortable and then having a camera that blends in with the rest of the, the equipment sometimes really helps for them to be less aware of the camera. Um, so on the back, as Stephen already pointed out, we have a HDMI 2.0 and a USB 3.0 connector. And actually the most important part of this camera is the mounting construction that we uh, included with this camera. As you can see, you can manipulate it in all different directions so you can mount it in any way you want. So underneath the screen, on top of the screen, you can just rest it on a screen if you want to, or uh, mount it underneath. And just to give you a proof of concept, um, let me do really some heavy lifting here. Uh, this, was, this, was a, this was a straw, I guess. Um, yeah, um, I really had to do the heavy lifting. So it was literally, <laughs> Because what we have here, uh, there we go. Just to demonstrate that you can actually mount it underneath a fairly small screen. So we have it here mounted underneath, uh, well, what's this, 23 inch uh, computer screen. Just to show you how we've done that. I'll just turn it around. Uh, there we go. Let's make sure you can see it. It's actually relatively heavy. Uh, I'll get my hand out of the way. As you can see here, the mount is going up behind the screen and is uh, screwed against the, the, the back wall. So you can mount it even underneath a very small screen. So, if, so it's very convenient. So there you have it. Mounted underneath a screen. Now let's put this to the side because it's heavy enough. There we go. And you Back saw the entire image uh, do like this, so it's it's really heavy. Yeah, it is. It's uh, way over <laughs> uh, too much wood on there, but hey, it works. Um, yeah. So another thing, this mount, uh, as I've shown you, it's quite flexible. You see these little screws in the back here. If you unscrew them slightly, you can even extend or uh, retract this uh, mount. Also, if you don't want to use this mount at all, you can completely remove it from the camera by just unscrewing four little screws and the entire mount comes off and you can still use a regular camera mount. So anything with a quarter inch UNC screw, which is a quite standard camera screw. Uh, um, so any mount coming with that kind of screw, you can use in combination with this camera as well. So we've really chosen to give you all the flexibility that you might need to install this camera. So I guess that's that's it, Stephen. Should I add anything to that? No, I think that was clear. I, I, I like the fact that, uh, that that we can actually see how it bolts um, uh, to the wall. Um, we've we've actually played around with the uh, with the mount uh, a lot uh, here in the office. Yeah. And we haven't been able to find any screen where it doesn't fit yet, which is the uh, the most important thing. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I I think just the fact that you can bolt it underneath the screen. Just makes a lot of difference. Yeah, yeah it's it's just an, an integration product. That's that's what we develop. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I, I wanted, this is like the, normally the moment that I say thank you more time for joining us, but you are staying. You're not going anywhere. So no, I have to. Uh, thanks I'm for running uh, thanks Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, that's you're actually running the whole show there, uh, uh, which is uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, we often actually get questions about how do you do the webinars, and we use the VMix software for that. Uh, and I'm actually sitting uh, about, what is it, like 10 meters from you and uh, somewhere 20. else in the building. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, so, okay, uh, thanks for that. Um, then um, just wanted to look at uh, some applications for this product. So what is really the target application for this? 
Well, one of the things is when I did my uh, the webinar last week from my house, I actually used a CM22 on my desk, uh, which works and it works fine. Um, it's a bit, uh, it's, it, it would be a relatively high-end solution for a desktop, but it does work very well. You can clearly see in the image I included in the presentation why we'll be able to cope with even more challenging light conditions. So desktop use, absolutely uh, possible with this product. Then uh, other applications that we uh, want to take a look at. My ex my phone is ringing. There you go. Your phone is, your phone is ringing. Yeah, you well, that, that actually happens in a live webinar. <laughs> yeah, there we go, does, solved yeah. it. <laughs> well, the other application I wanted to talk about is the, uh, the huddle room, uh, which is the next slide in the presentation. Um, so, Mutain, if you can yep. put the next slide. <laughs> uh, so, so, this is an example of a, a huddle room uh, where uh, you see what the challenges are, right? And this is probably the worst designed huddle room in the world uh, because, A, it's very, very small, and there's windows on the other side. But in this situation, there will be no way a normal webcam could actually do this application, while a CM22 would be able to make this look relatively good. Because although uh, you can compensate the backlight and you can change it around, ideally you just avoid it, but it would work in that situation. So other rooms, small meeting rooms, and then I think in this situation, what's also good to realize is the actual opening angle of the camera is very wide. So you could f theoretically still fit like even two or three people in here, maybe two people, while still maintaining the social distance regulations, and depending on which country you take the measurement from, but it does, it does fit. So a wide angle provides some more flexibility there. Um, the other application is small meeting room. So this is a meeting room designed for four to six people. Uh, you can see here clearly that the, the, they haven't decided on, this is an actual installation, they haven't decided on putting it underneath the screen, which would actually have been better. You can do this with this product, but it just shows you the way it integrates and blends with the uh, with the design. And in this case, it's actually a relatively thin bezel screen with the uh, the camera on top, uh, and uh, it blends in well and it works well. So uh, small meeting rooms, medium-sized meeting rooms would be the CM44, but small meeting rooms would be ideal for the CM22. Um, one other um, uh, huge application right now, and this is desktop use, I would say, but more used in a way that it's actually creating content. So the video and audio quality is more important uh, than just using a simple laptop. We have teachers in the uh, K-12, so lower education, we've got higher education, we've got universities, middle schools, uh, using cameras uh, that need to go online and create their content, right? So they need to have an audio and video solution where they can either do live sessions using Zoom or Google Classrooms, these type of things, or pre-record content so their students can just watch it whenever they want. Uh, the CM22 is really positioned well in this market, provides a lot of value for money, um, and, uh, and, and we believe this product is going to be very successful within this application and, uh, and marketplace. So um, that's the applications of the CM22. So just a, a couple takeaway points. Uh, see, I've made a really, really big error in this slide, to be honest. So a wide range of applications, right? You can think of any applications where you want to have either a personal camera to a medium-sized meeting rooms, uh, meeting room where you want to have four or six people, uh, USB 3.0 and HDMI output, which means that you can connect the legacy codecs or to a matrix switcher, uh, use the USB just for power, or even do both, right? So connect to USB uh, with USB to a PC, and at the same time connect uh, HDMI output. Uh, it has a wide angle view, so the 120 degrees, and uh, smart automatic and manual modes for challenging light conditions, as we saw in the previous picture with uh, uh, Scrooge McDuck. Uh, that's the one thing I'm going to remember from this webinar that I learned what Dagobert Duck is in English. Um, and then, of course, the integration mount, which was well thought of uh, when we designed this product. So it works for thin bezel screens. It is wall mountable, so you can actually secure it to the wall. Uh, so it's it's protected from theft. It cannot be uh, and it can be bolted actually to the wall, and you can install it below and above a screen. So you have the options to do both, and it comes with three years of warranty, which is uh, 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 which is backed up by our top-notch support team here in the Netherlands. So um, the CM22, a uh, a brand new product in our portfolio, and uh, we're very excited about it. Um, Tanya, do you have anything to add to this? Uh, um, and no, not particularly. No, no, no. That's. Uh, I think it's a great summary of uh, of this new product. Um, of course, well, 
together with this slide. If you do have any questions, make sure to ask them in on the right end of your screen. Uh, our colleagues will be there to, to answer them. But also, feel free to pick up the phone and call Stephen and bother him with all the questions you might have and ask him for tons of cameras, of course. We'll be happy to supply yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can talk to talk to your local reseller or distributor. We have them all listed on our website, uh, avonic.eu, or just give your account manager a call, and uh, and uh, I'm sure we're going to be able to uh, to figure it out. Uh, Mutai, would it be possible for us to to take a few pictures of the uh, of the the heavy lifting you did? Not so specifically the heavy lifting, but the uh, the actual uh, example of how the camera is installed. Can we uh, include that with the follow up? Um, yeah, we can make some pictures. Yeah, but I mean, it's not coming up, so it's uh, it, 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 it's no, there to stay. <laughs> it's staying. It's staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Then, um, then I would like to thank everybody for, uh, and uh, and we hope uh, that we were able to give you a good overview on the CM22, uh, which is uh, available for orders uh, now, uh, and we're really excited about having this uh, this product in our portfolio. Then we have uh, some more webinars to be announced shortly. So I cannot announce any new webinars right now. They will be in a couple of days or maybe a week, but we have a whole bunch of webinars available on our YouTube channel. So things like video conferencing, uh, large conferencing applications, uh, combinations for streaming, uh, all these webinars that we've done uh, in the last couple of months are available on our YouTube uh, channel, which you can find easy by just uh, going to Google and saying YouTube Avonic. It will take you directly to our YouTube page. Um, so that's for the webinars. Um, but time, thanks for your time. I do appreciate it. Um, uh, and uh, it was, I think it was interesting to show to see the unboxing as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, Q and A. We'll leave the Q and A open for a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I think we'll leave it open for another ten minutes or so. So if you have any questions, then uh, you can drop them still on the right side of your screen. Okay. Well, Mutain, thank you for uh, for joining me, and uh, I would want to thank you for attending our webinar today. Hopefully, we were able to give you some background on the CM22. It's available for ordering now, uh, so if you want to get demo units or test uh, units or have orders or new projects for these uh, for this product, then uh, just let us know. And for now, I would like to thank you for joining, and hopefully, you'll be able to join one of our new webinars that will be announced on our website shortly. Thank you.